Hi, I'm Jenny from Jenny's Crayon Collection, and today we're going to sort 120 crayons. Are you really excited? I know I am. So here's my box of 120 crayons. I also am going to do 64, 96, 120, and 152. Before we begin, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Ask any questions in the comments below and give that a thumbs up. It will help out so much. Um, and I will be doing more videos this year. I didn't do as many last year, but I am going to try to do them at least once a month, maybe once a week if I get the time, but I'm not gonna make a promise on that. So I've unwrapped my box. I've got 120 crayons. This one actually comes with four blue to full crayons, which is kind of cool. So my four blue to full crayons come in this little bag. These are my collectible blue to full crayons. And then, they put a beautiful person in here. It's usually green or sometimes red, but this time it's beautiful. So that's really cool. This 120 box, we have one, two, a three, four, five, six, 16 counts. And then we have one 24 count. What happens in the factory is they say, they say, oh, we need a box of this or a box of this. So the machine puts the same crayons together. And so if you get a 64 count, it'll include maybe boxes one, two, three, four of 16. And then if you get this one, you would get one, two, three, four, five, six. And I think that's how many are in the 96. So yeah so you get those 96 so you get those six packs and so if you're getting the 24 that's i mean the 120 that's when they add this box right here so that's kind of how it works um it kind of it probably helps with the assembly so that way uh they make sure they get the right crayons in the crayon boxes but it's interesting to know let me put my glasses on real fast on the back it says contents and colors may vary please retain packaging for future references probably because Sometimes mix-ups happen and they might get the wrong box in there, so that just kind of covers them, but even though they try to keep the same ones. So you get these ones, and I don't know, we can make them names for this, but whatever colors they are. And then we have, these are Vivid Tangerine, Shamrock, some of those colors. These are definitely our neon crayons. You can see how neon those are. These ones are kind of blues, browns, grays, pinks. These are your standard box of 16 count crayons. Right there, you have that. And more just random crayons. So let's get sorting these crayons, 120 crayons. All right, so we're ready to sort. I've put all the crayon boxes out and how I like to sort them is I just like to dump them all out. I don't like to keep them together. Um, I know some people might I want to be like, oh, they, this one came in this box, this one came in this box, but I just like to dump them out. So my daughter's going to help me dump them out. We're um, sorting on a surface that we don't care about because sometimes you get crayon marks on here. So I just kind of take them carefully out, dump them in the big pile. So now we have a bunch of crayons. And you want to do this? Okay. I like to kind of keep them spacing the same way because um, that makes it easy, a little bit easier. So I have all my crayons out and I like to start with the reds first. That's just kind of my thing. I just like red, so let's see. I start with red, so violet red, and got the red. I'm just gonna move this over. Okay. So I like to start with the reds first. So we have red, violet, and violet red. You can see how that one's more purpley. Kind of like to put the purples sometimes with the reds. You see you have um, colors that are lighter and then you have ones that are more saturated. Um, so what ha would be ideal is to sort these in a circle, but since they're not stored in a circle, we have to do them linearly. But what will happen is you will have things like this, where this purple, if it was darker or more saturated, it might be 
um, different in the spectrum. So you kind of just have to look at it, and even though it's lighter, you have to put it where it should go. So this one looks a little bluer, so I'm gonna put it here. So even though this one's darker, this one looks more purple to me. So this one's blue violet, this one's wisteria, this one's violet purple. So this one might actually even go good here. You know, so you will have a white component to a lot of your colors. And when you have that white component or that really dark component, you just kind of put it in where you think it will be best. And everybody is going to have a little bit different because our eyes are all different. So we will have a different area we'll, where we will want to put the crayons. After that, we have these ones, um, Jazzberry Jam and Surprise. They're a little bit... Uh, all right, pinker. So these ones are more reddish orange. So I'm gonna put this one here. So this, and the wrappers can kind of help you, but sometimes not. So I like to put pinks. If it, so the pinks definitely have the white component because pink is like a red plus white. And um, sometimes they add, you know, you know, like an orange to it. Like this one has a bit of an orange component. So I like to put the pinks together too. See this one, how this one has a purpley pink component. This one is more of a reddish violet. But so this is where it gets tricky. So this one's a red, but this one's a purple, but you know, the pink is here, this one's orangey. So you just kind of put them wherever you feel best because we're not doing it circularly. I got that one here and this one's an orange. So, and then you just sort them however you feel. So this one's kind of purpley, so I just put it there. You can kind of try to keep the wrapper colors together, but I don't always, I'm not always one for wrappers. I, I look more for the tips, what the tips look like. So we got, oh, this one's kind of, you know, so you kind of look, this one's redder, but it's darker. So it's like, where does it go? So maybe it looks fine there. See how we're doing right there. So this one's kind of, I'll put it right here. And then we got this one's a little bit lighter than that one. See, my wrappers don't always match up. So I'm kind of getting to the end of my reds. So what I'm going to do, now I'm gonna to go to my other, my orangey, more orangey color, but this one is Kind of a salmon it is exactly salmon so um salmon is kind of a combination of orange you can kind of see in red and white this one is definitely a little purpley you can kind of see that in there so then i just kind of match it with what's going on with the crayons like i said i don't always worry about the wrappers i worry about the tips and what the tips are looking like so this one's a purpley kind of pink so I'm gonna put it right here, because these ones are a little bluer. This one is royal purple. And if you really want, you could go in and you could draw with them to even get more. So that one's kind of gray, blue, bluish purple E. So I'm just gonna keep going on this purple idea. I like to put my purple sometimes with my reds and pinks, just because I like the combination. I don't always do that. This one is eggplant. Let's see, eggplant, where, where should we put eggplant? So I'm gonna put eggplant here. So I'm almost done with my purples. So I just, mm, this one's definitely, so then this one's a little bluer. So blue violet, yep, my eyes are telling me correctly. The hues can be slightly different. You just kind of look. I like to sort by the tip. Okay, and then, so we still have more, a little bit more room down here. We'll continue with this one. This one's pinker. I'm gonna put this one here. So I use the wrappers as a base, but then when I'm sorting them, I use this. So this one's red, but pink. So what color is this one? Pink sherbet, and I was right. So I could even put that one up here. Okay, because it has a pink component to it. So. I'm gonna actually start with oranges up here next, just because. So I like, um, when I'm doing them literally like this, I like to start rows. So this one looks redder. Just find all my reds. 
my reddish orange is colored and then I just kind of started throwing as a guide. Some of them are easy, some of them are a little bit difficult, but if you put in, so we have some, these ones, these ones are definitely have a white component. So if you were to darken it, what would color would it be kind of how I look at it? So this one is melon. I like to put melon down here with my with my pinks. Oh, we have another red. So we are going to kind of running out of space. So I'm going to move these a little bit. That way we can put some of these orangey ones up here. Oh, it gets so tricky. Some of them are bright orange. Some of them are light orange, pink. So we have another red that goes there. This one's a red orange, sunset orange, pretty color. So you can kind of look at the names too, Scarlet. That would indicate more of a reddish color. I don't know about you, but I spent hours when I was young uh, sorting crayons. Uh, so this one's kind of purpley. It's got the light wrapper on it. It's called Mobilis. But what were your some of your favorites? Oh, we got Mob here, so let's stick it. It's hard. Maybe it's closer to that one. I love sorting the 96 count because that one came out. They didn't have the 120 count until later. So this one's a little reddish. So what we can start to do, like see if we didn't have this one here, where would I put this? So then I kind of move them accordingly. See, this one's bright, but it's yellow too. So you just kind of have to stick it in there. The absence of color makes it a little tricky. So this one's even brownish. So what color is this golden rod? It's a little golden. Looks close to that one, but it's definitely a yellow. I'm gonna put it here because it kind of looks a little green to me. So got some more oranges, some of our atomic colors here. So this one's definitely more yellow. I'm gonna put it between these two. Outrageous orange. Oh, that one looks more reddish to me. Got our regular orange. Huh. Regular orange, that one's more red. This one's right here. I would put this one right here. Okay, so then I get all my yellows done. That one's definitely more orangey. And then I start on my yellowy wrappers, even though some of them are green. Just kind of put them in where you think is best and I'll go through where I put all of them Then we put in some of our green wrappers I'm gonna have to take green to the other side here's a green these are opposite way turn them the right way then they go in better so this is definitely greener But if you think about it, we hear about color wheel. We don't hear about a color line. So that's why it makes it so confusing. Okay, so we have more greens here. I like that one. Let's see. All right, so now I am going to move some of my greens up so that way I can accurately sort these ones. This is, okay, so these ones are definitely more yellow. I'm gonna move these ones down here. Even though they're darker, sometimes it just gets a little messy. Okay, so then we'll just throw onto this color now. Mm, I found a brick red. So brick red. It's kind of, I'm going to put it there because it's got some orange in it. All right, so I have this one. This one is um, almond. It's kind of like a brownish. I'm gonna put it here. We've got tropical rainforest. Oh, that one's definitely a bluish green. Shamrock. Shamrock goes there. I don't know. Uh, this, I can just smell them. I wish you could smell these, how good they smell right now. I love opening a new box and sorting them. I, when I come back to the box, they're all there and I can 
my favorite boxes when I was little were the big boxes. Oh, this one's greener. But see how it's like dark? So it's like, which one's bluer? That's what you have to ask yourself when you're sorting like this. That one's definitely bluer. So I'm going to kind of put that one here. So I'm starting to get into my blues. I still have another green. This one is tricky. It's got a lot. Of, so you usually, you know, with a blue, like a green, you'd have blue and yellow together. But sometimes they'll add other colors to it, like a red. So all of a sudden you have red and white, and that's what kind of makes it hard to sort. So this one's definitely a greener one. See how I did this? Now I'm going to take this one back because it's green. It's like a lighter green now that I'm looking at it. But it does look blue. You can see how blue it is when you move it up. So that's why you just keep sorting them. This one's definitely bluer, but it's got a green. This one's... That one's light. You just do the best you can. The best... And it's just maybe how it looks to you. What looks good together. It doesn't have to be... Oh, this one's definitely purpley. There's not... It's not rocket science. Oh, this one's green. And that's part of fun. I mean, this is a great activity for kids to kind of have them... My kids love doing this. It's just have them learn colors and learn uh, variations of colors. But see how this one looks like greener? These ones are light. That's the, that's the way it goes. Okay. Okay, this one's blue. So that one's tricky because it's so light. So just go here, just go here. I'm gonna put it here. So this one's more purpley, so I'm gonna take it down here. That's just... That one is navy blue. So then I kind of start to look at the names. Sirlene. That one looks a little green to me when I'm looking at this. So these look kind of purpley. And so I'm almost done with blue. So my legs are going to sleep. Okay. Cadet blue. It's got some gray in it. Put it down here. So then we have our browns. I'm just going to stick all my browns right here for now. I like sorting browns together. Okay, now we have another blue. Okay, this one is beautiful. Hmm, it's the new one from Crayola. It's almost got like a black component to it. Okay, so I think that's good on that. We just have one more. It's got gray in it. Kind of got a green to it. It's a lot of gray. Okay. So next, I like to either put the grays in, which we can do, or the browns, but I like to put white at the top because white is pure white, and then black down below. And then you can kind of see a variation. So your grays will have components of all the colors in them. Red, green, blue, purple, orange, yellow. So you can kind of sort them like that too. See how this one's kind of brown? So this one's shadow. I might take this with the browns, even though the wrapper is a white wrapper indicating. So antique brass. We got copper. Maybe I could keep all of these ones together with the light wrappers. This one's dark. So I kind of made a division here since we're going to... Uh, so these ones are kind of like the blue, the gray, and then we kind of get to the brown. And then when we get to the brown, I can kind of sort it that way. So this is a darker one that's grayer. Then on these, I kind of like to sort them by color order too, because you'll have the same red, gray, green, blue, purple, except for you won't see them. You'll see a lot of red, orange, yellow tones to them. So this one's definitely a red tone, so I'm gonna bring it down. So we got uh, that one's. Mm, we're getting there. Can keep my grayer one up there, maybe. And we're almost done sorting all these colors. This one's. I'm gonna move this one. This one's more orange. And there we go. 
this is how today I wanted to sort them. It could be different tomorrow. If you look at my website, I have sorted a lot of these and I don't know if I've ever sorted them the same way twice. It's just however it looks to you and um, how it goes. So I'm gonna go through them. Purple Mountain Majesty, Blue Violet. So you have an idea, Eggplant. Um, purple Heart, Royal Purple. Vivid Violet Plum. Violet Orchard. Wisteria Lavender. Purple Pizzazz, Carnation Pink Hoppingetta, Cotton Candy, Pink Sherbet, Razzle Dazzle Rose, Blush Marvelous, Tickle Me Pink, Pink Flamingo Fuchsia, Red Violet Cerise, and I hope I'm saying these all right, Maroon Magenta, Jazzberry Jam, Violet Red, Red, Wild Strawberry, Razzmatazz, Brick Red, Salmon, Melon, Shocking Pink, Radical Red. Oh, hopefully I didn't mess that up. Sorry. I was getting really close to the camera. Piggy Pink. Oh, sorry. Radical Red, Wild Watermelon, Piggy Pink. This one's Scarlet, Sunset Orange, Red Orange, Mango Tango, Vivid Tangerine. Some of these are fun. Neon Carrot, Outrageous Orange, Apricot, Peach, macaroni and cheese, yellow orange, orange, atomic orange, sun glow, unmellow yellow, banana mania, yellow, laser lemon, canary, goldenrod, almond, green yellow, spring green, inchworm, electric lime, yellow green, screaming green, grass, green smith apple, shamrock, now meadow green, fern, Forest green, olive green, asparagus, pine green, tropical rainforest, jungle green, sea green, Caribbean green, robin's egg blue, aquamarine, turquoise blue, blue green, Pacific blue, midnight blue, outer space, sky blue, cerulean, I don't know if I said that right, cornflower, blue bell, blue, Indigo, denim, beautiful, navy blue, cadet blue, blue yonder, and periwinkle. Let's see. Let's bring these down so you can see them all. Then we got white, got silver, timber wolf, gray, manatee, black, copper, antique, brass, gold, shadow, beaver, tumbleweed, desert sand. Raw Sienna, Tan, Burnt Sienna, Burnt Orange, Bittersweet, Mahogany, Sepia, Brown, Chestnut, and Fuzzy Wuzzy. So I will also leave a link to 120 box, and I have sorted them also there. They might not be exactly the same, like I said, because I like to uh, sort them different every time, but they'll be close. So then also, um, when I'm putting them back in the box, I kind of say, hey, how am I gonna put them in? And how do I want them to look in the box? So I kind of put these things in little packets by how they're supposed to go in. Oh, we're getting a lot of sunlight, oops. All right, I might have to move this. The sun changes angles and then the beautiful thing will go back on here. So now I know, uh oh, it's head. Aha, there we go. His head will go right there. So um, now I know where it's gonna go, so I can take these out one at a time. I think what I'm going to do is put the reds and purples and yellows um, in here, and then I'm gonna go to the next color and then continue it here. You could also do it in a line, but since um, I pull these out one at a time, I'll just do it like that, since you don't see it like this. All right, I'm just gonna move this real fast. So as I'm putting them in, we don't see that. Okay. So, let's see. We don't have some light. Good. So, I'm going to start putting them in. I just put them in, kind of tip the container a little bit so they go in pretty easily. Um, if I was just doing this after I had sorted them sometimes, I will just kind of grab a bunch and put them in because at least then they'll be you know, somewhat sorted, but since I'm doing this for this video, and sometimes, you know, when I was a kid, I would make sure they were definitely sorted this way because I loved sorting them this way. 
So then you just put them in one at a time. I love how they look all together. I like to do this little zigzag. I'll show you in just a minute how it goes. So then I would get the next box out. I would say I want it to look like this. So it goes like this, like this, like this. So I kind of keep my color order a little bit. Oh, I started at the bottom. Oh, well, hopefully I don't have an odd number of crayons. That always happens. You're like, oh, I just got down to the purples and I have one odd purple left. Okay. As I was doing that, I lost that color order right there. Okay. Oh, well, it should be fine. We might be okay. And what I might do is if I have one odd purple, I'll just throw that purple at the bottom of the blues. Yeah, we might have just one odd purple in there. So I'm gonna take this one and just throw this one at the bottom because it's the same color -y. Okay, so since I kind of messed that up, I'm going to take this one and then I'll start here. So this one will be most like that one. So zigzag. That's how I'm talking about when I'm talking about a zigzag right there. So we'll just keep going. Putting them in. Until we get done. It takes a while to put them all in and sometimes they like to jump out at you like that. All right, so here is these boxes. And then, so the next one will be the middle box. So I will put the oranges down here. I love sorting this way because when I'm looking for a color, um, when they're not sorted this way, it's really hard to find a certain color. You're like, I want a color with a yellow, but I don't know exactly. When you're looking at a box of open crayons that's not been color order sorted, it's really hard to find it. I totally understand why they don't because of manufacturing processes. It's really a lot easier to, you know, say this, this sleeve goes with the sleeve. That's the word I was looking for earlier. This sleeve goes with this box, this uh, box assortment. So they can just have all the sleeves they need. So this is how they will look in my box when I go to look for a certain crayon, a certain color. So we have, I didn't quite get all my greens in there, but that's okay. I'll come down here. So I'm gonna start my greens down here. I love, I think crayons are easiest to store for me. The markers are sometimes hard because they make them a little different. I just love that they have little sleeves and then you can put them in the box. Even though with my kids, they don't always end up in the box again, but that's okay. <clears throat> so we just keep putting them in. We've got our blues. We still have some more blues left. So that what I'm going to do Oh, my daughter went and found a green one. She wants to show you. Oh, put them down a little bit. There you go. We got the blue one and the old green one. That's how they've changed them. It's a pencil sharpener. I mean, I mean a crayon sharpener. You guys probably know that. Oh, you know what? These look interesting. I actually did it wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take these out really fast. I was talking and I got distracted, so I'm gonna, I started putting them in wrong. I started at the bottom, I think. Okay. And, all right, we just keep going. So we got our last lone purple here. It'll be great to go with the grays. And then I have my white right here. Oops, my blue jumped out at me. Okay, I think my daughter has something else to show you. Do you want to show them real quick, sweetie? Uh, I have no over idea. here, over here. 
New hats. Oh, down a little bit further. You have to put them on top of the crayons. There you go. Oh, she switched the hats, that. which is kind of fun. Okay, so we, then we had the browns. You know what, I'm gonna stick this brown in here because it's kind of the beaver. It's kind of got that dark color, 82, that gray color. -y. Okay, so I like to keep these crayons together. All the browns and the bronzes and all that. So sometimes you do adapt from what you've put down. Just because, wow, this video is long. I hope you've enjoyed <laughs> watching all of me sort 100. And you know, it takes a while to sort 120 grams. Here you go. I think I'm going to eat lunch afterwards. What are you guys up to today? All right. We are almost done with our crayons. And look at how beautiful these are, how pretty it is now. And it'll be really easy. Okay, I'm going to move them all and show you how pretty that is. So this is how it'll be stored in the box. I'm gonna take a photo with my camera. So when we're looking at our at our crayons, it'll be so pretty. So I'll start with the purples and put them in the bottom. And just kind of keep them exactly how I have them. Okay, can you get the blue one together for me, please, sweetie? And then put them there like that. They look so pretty. I'm gonna jump in this box. Yeah, it's jumping in, so. Oh, it's good like that. <laughs> there you go. There you have it. 120 crayons sorted. And I have those beautiful ones. I'll just stick those ones in the side. We are just going to close this up. Oops, it's got the tricky little thing right there. And now they are ready for the next time in color. They're all in color order and we can find them easier. That's what I love most. If you like this video, please comment below. Hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe so you can see other ones. I And also look, I've, I'm have i going to do 64 count, 120 count, 96, and 152. I'm gonna sort all those for you also and you can watch those. And Green wants to say goodbye. Hi. Anyway, we will see you soon.